whenever you visit someone's house, there's rules that you must abide by to visit their home. Your home is not their home. They are visitors if they need to conduct themselves like visitors. But there's a problem in Jamaica. I see that the Chinese invasion is alive and thriving in Jamaica. I see in Jamaica the East Indian invasion is alive and the Arab invasion is alive when I travel Jamaica. I see the hotel chain is owned by the East Indians and the gas stations are owned by the Arabs and the neighborhood shops are owned by the Chinese. That's not Garveyism. Marcus Garvey taught that whatever is to be done for African people must be done by African people. It is not to be done by Chinese. It is not to be done by Arab. It is not to be done by East Indian. We can respect them. But they must understand that this is our house first. Furthermore, the government of Jamaica got some questions that got to be answered. The first question I have is who in the hell gave Chinese permission to make a road from Kingston to Ocho Rios and call it the Beijing Highway? That's disrespectful. Who in the hell made the decision to give the Chinese 1,200 acres of land around the highway so they can put three Chinese hotels and come to Jamaica and rob you blind. Your enemy's enemy is not your friend. Your enemy's enemy is not your friend. And Chinese supremacy is no better than white supremacy. The brown man is no better than the white man when it comes to African people. Where were the Chinese when you were in slavery? Where were the Chinese when you were in Jim Crow? All of a sudden in the 21st century, the Chinese are the friends of Jamaica? Go to hell with that nonsense. The Chinese are coming to Jamaica to make Jamaica a colony of China. You can't let that happen. I read in the newspaper the other day that the Chinese have given Jamaica 353 million US dollar multi-investment development loan. So what is the interest rate on that loan, Jamaica? Jamaica had already went into debt to the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. So you didn't learn your lesson from the white man, you're going to run to the brown man and go into debt even more than what you suffered at the hands of the white man? That's not Marcus Garvey's dream. And the Chinese say they're going to give one million dollars in grants. And the Chinese are going to build an infant school in Kingston and another infant school in Morant Bay. And they're going to bring their own Chinese engineers and their own Chinese workers. And every time the Chinese build something in Jamaica, they don't put the black man to work. They don't put the black woman to work. They don't put the black child to work. How you let them build the highway and bring thousands of Chinese to Jamaica to work when you got one third of Jamaica's black children unemployed? 40% of black men in Jamaica unemployed. Black women unemployed. How you gonna let the Chinese bring their own labor from China? That is not Garveyism. Do you think you can go to China and open up a Jamaica highway? So why the hell they in Jamaica opening up a Beijing highway? There's only one or two answers to that. There's only one or two answers to that. Either somebody in the government is being paid by China or somebody in the government is scared of China. That's the only way this is going down. That's the only way this is going down. All these shops in Jamaica and we don't have an economic development program for the black Jamaican. That's unacceptable. Don't let nobody tell you because you can vote that make you free. Voting don't make you free. Land makes you free. Wealth makes you free. Resource make you free. Business make you free. 
your brothers and sisters in America falling for the same nonsense Jamaica falling for. We got Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton and you got black people running around America talking about who do we vote for, Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton. A devil is a damn devil whether he's a Democrat or a Republican.